Hmm, get a tragic here, and welcome back to Wrath of the Rune Lords. I mean, Wrath of the Righteous, God, I cannot say that name correctly. And we are in the Wardstone Patrol, and we had a pretty okay turn last turn. There was one big error. We actually defeated the villain. It was my understanding that when you defeat the villain but you don't capture him, the location is not closed, but apparently that is not the case. Uh, the location is closed when you defeat the villain, whether you trap him or not. So this location here is closed. Now we've already shuffled in the blessings and everything, but if we're lucky, the villain is not actually in this deck, in which case we won't have to change much at all. And he's not. Excellent. That means we can just get rid of that. Close this location. And the only other difference is Eleanor obviously wouldn't have gone to that location. So I'm going to send her to... Uh, send her to... The family tomb. Okay, so that's our situation. The situation is a lot better than it, I thought it was previously. Okay, so we've got 18 to go. Let's get into this. Yabamo, Yablamo, and let's draw. Yoink! Lawmaster, Intelligent Knowledge. We have Intelligence of 6. This is a 5 to pass. We have a chance. We have a 1 in 6 chance. You know, am I feeling lucky? Am I feeling like we're going to win? No, I'm not. And again, we've got no way of actually drawing a second explore. So I'm going to draw another card. Okay. Meanwhile, this guy here, he has to fight the bloke. And he's got the Sage's Journal. We're going to actually use that this time. <laughs> So the staff gives him a 6 plus 1, he's got a 12 plus 1 strength melee. Woo. And we get a 16 just. Okay. So let's do our explore. Yoink. Giant fly. So we'll... Oh, he doesn't get that obviously. We only need a 9 to kill this guy, but we can't actually kill him, he just sort of flies into the other locations. Okay, so there is one, two, three, four open locations. It says, after your act, shuffle this card into a other random location. Three. There's three, actually. One, two, three. Yoink. Oh, God, we've got to do something about that location ASAP. Okay, so let's discard that. We've still got basically no, nothing going on here. Uh, I'm going to discard his armor and glibness. Uh, I'm just going to discard his armor. Let's draw one other card. Long spear. Okie dokie. Sheila, your blamo. Now she is currently at an empty location. I'm going to send her to this spot here, Yablamo. Oh, strength melee nine. Oh, I'd really like this. So what is this? This is a D8 plus three. You know, I'm gonna spend a blessing and get another D8 here. I really want this thing. This is actually counted as a shield. Nice. It just, it, it's such a good card. I love it. Okay, but because we did that, we are unable to actually draw our next thing. We're going to get rid of this. And we're going to get... This has got piercing, though. We'll get rid of the long sword, And we'll draw another card. Excellente. It's now this girl's go. Bam. Draw. A 
Apprentice. Charisma Defined Diplomacy. Ugh. Oh well, I'm going to use this. May as well. Glibness. Display this card next to a character. While displayed, add three to that character's charisma checks. So, we get an extra one, two, three. And we're also going to do a charisma, obviously, which is a D4. That's no good. It doesn't help us. I guess I can't get this guy. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. So, I'm going to use her ability to get any cohort. And we'll just get the cohort into our hand. And then I'm going to recharge it to add two D4s. Plus a D4. Uh, plus another D4. Plus the goodness. Okay, so <laughs> let me restart that. Okay, so I use her ability to take the cohort out of my discard pile. I then discarded the cohort to get 2d4 on any non-combat check. Uh, oh, if you succeed, recharge one random card from your discard pile. That's pretty awesome. So recharge this card to add 2d4. So that's the 2d4. We're doing a charisma check, which is d4. So we have three d4s. And then we're also doing glibness, which adds three. Yoink. And we get a 10, that's a pass. We get to recharge a random card. And your blammo. Okay. Now, wisdom survival, what's this thing give us again? Arcane divine. Oh wait. And this guy now has to do a divine eight check. His divine is six plus three. So he can just make this if he's super lucky. Oh wait, that's survival. His divine, oh, he doesn't have to. Oh, well, I've got to banish this card. Hmm, I kind of... I thought he had, I thought he had some wisdom. Okay, whatever. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Uh, he has, he can carry two spells and he can discard them to get 1d10s. So I was using him as a way to sort of save spells I didn't have room on the other players for. So I've just discarded a really good spell for no real reason. Nice work. But still, we got the apprentice and he's awesome. Okay, so let's do an explore. What you got for us? Yoink. Oop. Okay, we have the Brimorak. Okay, he's immune to fire. And we are going to be using the piercing trait because we're going to be using the heavy crossbow. So I'm going to bury this card. That gives us two D6s. Two D6s plus a d12 plus one plus we're gonna shuffle this card into our deck to get a 1d8 oh what do we have to do if we win this again oh yeah the wisdom check okay so we beat him we have to take two fire damage now. So. Bam. And now I need to do a wisdom survival check. So we'll have wisdom, which is a D8-3. And we have one blessing to help him. It's pretty terrible. Come on. Nine. So we need an eight. 
excellent. So that is also passed. Okay, so we've got to actually peek at this and make sure that the villain is not in it, which he's not. On closing, bury a boon. Bam. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so. It's, uh, where, where is she again? Summon and defeat a Wraith. Family tomb. Okay, your blammo. Ah, a Morak again. Okay, so we should be able to beat this guy. Frigid Blast, that's a D12 plus one plus two D4s. It does not have the trait. We also have the Crusader, doesn't help us. That's basically it. We've got no, oh yes you do. He got a blessing. So we'll get another blessing. Yoink. Oh, okay, 25, he's dead. We get to recharge a spell. We've only got one spell, so that's fine. Six, we needed a six, so we get to recharge that one as well. And now we have to fight a, f a frigid monster thing. So, before we act, he deals a cold damage. So, I guess we'll get rid of that. I haven't really found a way to use this yet, a combo to use that properly. We'll do a frigid. Oh, he's immune to cold. Oh, no. He's not immune to cold. He just does cold. Excellent. He's immune to mental and poison. So, that was lucky. 12 plus 1. Plus 2d4. Unfortunately, we have no way of improving this because there's no blessings anywhere on the decks. Uh, and we had to discard our bow that I've been holding on that allows us to actually help other people. So, let's roll that sucker. Come on. We only need a 10. Booyah. So, he's dead as well. And this is also recharged. Okay, again, we just have to look in here. Okay, there is no monster in there, so that all gets discarded. We're permanently closing. Examine the location deck, then set aside those cards. Unclosing, shuffle those cards into this location. What? Before closing, well, let me just get those cards back. Control Z. Tabletop Simulator has a backspace, by the way. It's pretty comprehensive and it goes pretty deep, so you've got to be careful. There we are. I don't understand this. Before closing, examine the location deck, then set aside those cards. On closing, shuffle those cards into this location deck. Basically, this is closed, but we just shuffle the cards so we can stay here and still, you know, go through the graveyard basically and find more stuff. We don't want to do, but the location is physically closed for the sake of trapping, I think. I mean, is that right? That is a weird one. When permanently closed, yeah. So it's still closed, it's just got cards in it. Okay, so now the healer's turn. She is going to go over here. Let's do a thing. She's going to reveal a fire blade and do a heal. Four, beautiful. One, two, three, four.
And that is actually her turn because this is instead of the first exploration. So, one, two, three, four, five. And actually, if, I shouldn't have done that because I, sh I wanted to discard all her stuff. Yeah, actually, and I'll, I'll leave it in. I'll do the discard next turn. And yes, I haven't used the cure because she's not going to do any exploring now. Basically, we're just going to split our party up between this location and this location. And she's just going to be healing. Okay. Well, that is the end of that round. We've got two more rounds to go. But I'm pretty sure we're going to win this one. So I will see you guys.